This is the original rocket hot water system for the shower shack. Wood goes in there, fire goes up there, heats the outside of the water tank, comes back out here. It's again a double skin, so you've got a void next to the tank. It's a repurposed water heater tank that's just now on its side. And then you've got a insulation between that void skin and the outside skin. We have a tall vent pipe that sort of sets the pressure for the water tank, uh, or it was supposed to, but the pressure regulator, they got, they got kind of a situation with overpressure on these systems because the well is actually uphill. And so they, I, I don't know, because cause maybe the pump's just like super beefy, but they have really high pressure here. And the regulator they got wouldn't stop that pressure when the when it was low draw, and so they would just have constant dribbling out of that pipe, which is not great in the low water environment. So the next variation on that was just to have a pressure relief, a really good pressure relief valve on that outlet, but still that's a that's a little bit scary compared to an open system. And then. Like, Tim loves to work with the gravity-fed systems as appropriate tech, and we have the problem of too much overpressure from this, the conventional well system here. And so then we came up with this really cool, like, way to step that pressure back down to gravity-fed. Uh, so that's what happened this year, and I don't know for sure how far they got with that process, but I think it's in place and working. We'll go take a look at it. So this, the high-pressure water from this hydrant goes through a regulator into the hose, the cold hose goes straight into the shower. The um, and then there's a oh no no both hoses that's how it works. So the green hose goes to the pressure regulator tank up there, which is a little animal uh, watering trough with two float valves, and then the hose comes back down from there, two hoses, um, to allow enough flow, and those come to, one of them comes to the showers as a cold, and one of them goes to the heater for hot water, and then that water goes to the, that, that with that pressure control goes to the shower. So we still have the tall vent pipe. If it started to boil over, there's, there's a way for it to release. But we have up the hill a little tank that's setting it to gravity pressure. So we can go take a look at that tank if you like. Thank you.